this Arundhati Roy and former University of Kashmir professor Sheikh Hussain in a 2010 case over their alleged provocative speeches. Arundhati Roy and Hussain were accused of making anti-India comments during a seminar in Delhi in 2010. Or agar Kashmiri right activist Sushil Pandit ki baat kare, to unhone ye complaint file ki thi. Dono ke khilaf ye kehte hue ki unhone jo hai Bharat ka apman kia us speech me ye bhi allegation tha ki jo topic hai. और जो इशू है वो डिस्कस किया गया था वो एक प्रोपरगेट भी किया गया था कन्वेंशन के समय में जो कि सेपरेशन ऑफ कश्मीर फ्रॉम इंडिया के ऊपर था और ये जो प्रोवोकेटिव स्पीचेस है वो इस सेमिनार में दिए गए थे जो कि कश्मीर सेपरेटिस्ट लीडर सैयद अली शाह गिलानी और एक दिल्ली के यूनिवर्सिटी लेक्चरर सैयद अब्दुल रहमान गिलानी इन दोनों ने वो सेमिनार अटेंड किया था अब जो दो अक्यूज है जिनको एक्विट किया गया था सुप्रीम कोर्ट के द्वारा इस पार्लियामेंट अटैक केस में टेक्निकल ग्राउंड्स को लेकर और वो पेंडेंसी के समय पे उनकी मौत हो चुकी थी इन दोनों की वहीं पर दिल्ली एलजी का जो नोट है उन्होंने ये देखा कि प्रीमा फेशी ये जो केस है जो कि अरुंधति रॉय और शेख हुसैन के खिलाफ है जो कि कमिटिंग ऑफेंसेस के तौर पर जो है दर्ज कराया गया है और कुछ सेक्शंस भी जो है लगाए गए हैं वो जो है उनका जो ग्राउंड है वो नोट करने लायक है तो ऐसे जो है उनकी तरफ से जो दिल्ली के लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर हैं उनकी तरफ से जो है इस पूरे मामले को लेकर ऑब्जर्वेशन आए हैं जिसके तहत जो है फिर ये डिसीजन लिया गया तो सबसे पहले सुनेंगे कुछ एक्सर्प्ट फ्रॉम इन फेमस अनुधति रॉय स्पीच फ्रॉम टू Uh, in 2007, at the time of the of the uprising in Kashmir against that whole acquisition of land for the Amarnath Yatra, I was in Srinagar. I was walking down the road, and I met a young journalist. I think he's from Times of India, and he said to me, uh, he couldn't believe that you know he saw some Indian person walking alone on, on the road, and he said. Can I have a quote? Can I have a quote? So I said yes. Do you have a pen? Because I don't want to be misquoted. And I said write down that India needs Azadi from Kashmir just as much as Kashmir needs Azadi from India. And when I said India, I did not mean the Indian state. I meant the Indian people. Because I think that the occupation of Kashmir today, there are 700,000 security personnel manning that valley of 12 million people. It is the most militarized zone in the world. And for us, the people of India, to tolerate that occupation is like allowing a kind of moral. Corrosion to drip into our bloodstream. So for me, it's an intolerable situation to say to 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 try and pretend that it isn't happening, even if the media blanks it out. All of us know what it. I mean, maybe all of us don't know, but any of us who have visited Kashmir know that Kashmiris cannot. They cannot inhale and exhale. Without the breath going through the barrel of an AK-47. So, um, so many things have been done there. You know, every time, every time there's an election and people come out to vote, the Indian government goes and says, "Well, why do you want a referendum? There was a vote, and the people have voted for India." Now I actually think that we need to we need to deepen our thinking a little bit because I I too am very proud of this meeting today. I think it's a historic meeting in some ways. It's a historic meeting taking place in the capital of this very hollow superpower. A superpower. Where 830 million people live on less than 20 rupees a day. Now, you know, it's, sometimes it's very difficult to know from what uh, from what place one stands on. 
as formerly a citizen of India, what what can what can what can one say? You know, what is one allowed to say? Because when India was fighting for independence from British colonization, every argument that people now use to to problematize the problems of Azadi in Kashmir was certainly used against Indians. Crudely put, the natives are not ready for freedom. You know, the natives are not ready for democracy. But every kind of complication was also true. I mean, the great debate between Ambedkar and Gandhi and Nehru, they were also real debates. And, they, and, and over these last 60 years, whatever the Indian state has done, people in this country have argued and debated and deepened the meaning of freedom. Okay. And we've also lost a lot of ground because we have come to a stage today where India, a country that once called itself non-aligned, that once held its head up in pride, has today totally, totally laid down prostrated on the floor against, uh, at the feet of, of the United States of America. So we are a slave nation today. अब चलिए एक बार कंप्लेन सुशील पंडित को भी सुनेंगे और उन्होंने जो है एलजी का जो ऑर्डर है उसको वेलकम किया है हाउ एवर दे से दैट द रिलीफ हैज कम टू लेट 13 इयर्स टू लेट आई आई होप दिस डिले हैज नॉट जेपर्डाइज द केस इटसेल्फ बिकॉज़ हाउ डू यू एक्सप्लेन सच अ लॉन्ग डिले and even if you attribute uh, political interference uh, the government has changed since and since 2014 we have a new government in place which is almost now 10 years ago so why this delay he said not taking an action is also an action that's when i thought as a private citizen i must initiate action we welcome the order of lg to initiate prosecution against arundhati roy and sheikh shaukat the government of india the, has realized that they need to penalize people who promote terrorism who support terrorism arundhati roy's uh, hatred against india and her support for tehsil like yasin malik is obvious and she has done it openly it is time that a clear message is sent to people who speak against this country who try to divide this country however the ecosystem continues to cry foul calling it the death of democracy the bjp has hit back said that those who think and speak ill of bharat will not be spared first bjp were targeting opposition leaders now it's height that they are targeting the writers also and th those writers and those people who doesn't toe the line of bjp bjp unleashes their it cbi ed to pounce upon them so that they toe the line of bjp it's the is not is nothing but mother of democracy this is a team which at the first chance started the tukde tukde gang language bhukha nanga hindustan jaan se phara pakistan was a slogan chanted by arundhati roy in that function and sushil pandit was right in filing a case and all these years uh, the local government administration didn't allow that case to be pursued but they are the original tukde tukde gang of the uh, country uh, they wanted abdul guru to be released he was not hanged till then he they wanted him to be released thanks to the lg uh, and the present administration that they have taken this action and now arundhati roy will have to face the tune of the law